Hey guys, Ken from Veteran Screen Printing. Today we're going to go over how to screen print shirts that have a pocket. It's one of the big uh, issues a lot of printers have and we've been asked about it. So today we're going to show you little hacks that we came up with after the intro. Alright guys, so a little hack that we came up with was using cardboard, okay? Um, now they do have uh, pallets that actually is made to put the top of the pocket in the groove and then print above the pocket. But, I mean, if you want to spend about $30 to $40, if not a little bit more, for a pallet for each of your stations, you can go ahead and do that. But as well as you got to be careful on how you burn your image on your screen to set that up properly and one of the ways that we found to actually help print faster is take a little bit of cardboard and i'll show you how to do that so let's go over to the press and show you what we do with the cardboard to make it easy to print pockets uh, that have or shirts that have pockets on them so let's go over there so to get started what you do is you want to take a little piece of tape or you want to take transfer tape and we use this to put down over where the pallet is where we're going to print, right? So let's uh, take you to the pallet. All right. We'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. All right. So we know that our, our print is going to be around this area. So I'll take this piece of transfer tape, put it down so I don't get it on my tack of my board, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print right on it so now I know exactly right where that's gonna be now you take your cardboard and you're actually gonna be printing on the cardboard well on the shirt but on the cardboard and you're gonna take this and you're gonna go right to the bottom of the design and you're gonna make that flush now when you put the shirt on you're gonna have the pocket sit right up to this so you know you're printing on this. Now once you have that, take a little bit of piece of uh, tape. And again, you could use regular, um, you can use regular uh, tape right here, um, the, the transfer tape. So just like that, you can take a regular piece of transfer tape and you're going to want to make sure that's creased up right to the bottom of that and it's a nice cut design all right so pretty much i know that this cardboard is the width of my design it covered it properly a hundred percent right so when i take this shirt i'm going to take it and when i go to put this on now, normally you're gonna to wanna to spray a little bit of tack on here if you're doing um, multi-color or if you are um, gonna, if it's a dark garment and you're gonna to wanna to have to do a print flash print, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pocket and I know if I just fill in, I can feel the, the, the end of the cardboard under this, right? Under this, I can feel the cardboard, so that pocket is sitting nice and flush. Now, when you cut the cardboard for the, the, the top length, you want to make sure that this length right here covers your entire design. And then when you go to cut the, the, this length on this side, how long it's going to be, you want it to be pretty close to how, how, uh, what the length is overall. You don't want it to be too long, right? So the reason why I say that is when you're lining this up, you know exactly right where your print's going to be. So I know for a fact my print's going to be right here. And it's going to be above the pocket. And pretty much you want to make sure it's straight. So if I had a little bit of tack on here, if I had to do a print flash print, it would be covered. So now let's flood my screen. Now, as 
I'm going to print. The only thing that's sticking up that I can actually print on is where the shirt is under the cardboard. Take it like that. Come up. So I know for a fact when I printed that, it was going to be right above the pocket. Let's take this off so you guys can see. So right above the pocket. So guys, that is one way that you can actually screen print a shirt that has a pocket. So the other way is they make this special palette. And this is kind of a universal. This is uh, from Ryanette from ScreenPrinting.com. We're not sponsored by them, but this is their palette that we buy. Um, and then if you can see, this little groove is where you put the top part of the pocket so it sits in there. And then you print up here, which will make it above the pocket. Um, I rarely use this. I've only used it about one or two times. Um, but you have to be careful because when you, when you burn your screen, it has to be... Um, you know the design has to be a little bit lower because this is not going to fit on the pallet uh, arm where you put your pallet at and be able to print at the same time so you kind of got to make sure to set it up and verify where you need it before you actually burn your image on your screen um, but that little hack will allow you guys to print multi uh, you know multi-color um, designs above pockets but it also will speed up your process and it'll save you a hell of a lot of money um, versus having to buy a crap load of pallets and pretty much just go around set up all your your uh, all your arms with all your stations where your you know print's going to be set up that little piece of cardboard tape down put a little bit of t uh, tack spray or even the adhesive water base and then load your shirts start printing away it will definitely save you a little bit of money. It will speed up your time. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. It's not that difficult to print pockets. It definitely is very, uh, very time consuming. So if you normally print, you know, say 50 shirts an hour uh, by yourself, cut that probably in half because it definitely takes a little bit of time to, you know, make sure the pockets lined up properly and everything along those lines. Um, you can also be a little bit of safe and you know make put the the design above the pocket a little bit more this customer likes it right above the pocket so i have to get very close so it takes a little bit of time to actually get it going but if you guys have any comments or if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments below um if you guys want to see something definitely reach out to us you can definitely leave it in the comments what you guys want to see um and i just want to say thank you for everybody that has been subscribing if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um, we are growing every day um, and definitely like this video if you haven't liked it definitely like it and share it because this can definitely help another printer and that's what we are here in this community we're all try to help each other instead of you know bad mouth bad mouthing and bashing everybody let's work together and keep this industry alive um, instead of going you know direct to garment and all the other stuff which could be very useful but this is I feel a kind of a dying breed not that many people do it in our area, which is why we're so successful. But like I always say, be safe and have fun. Till next time. Mm -hmm.